This is a quick and warming meal. I'm Tess, and tonight I'm going to show you how to make fish stew. You can have this meal ready in 30 to 40 minutes. Stay tuned! This fish stew recipe is delicious and easy on the budget. With a side salad and a piece of garlic or homemade bread, well, it's all you need. Just a reminder that you'll be able to find this recipe, the list of ingredients, and much more in the show more section below. I've also included links to where you can purchase online some of the ingredients and equipment that I use in this video recipe. If you have a chance, please check it out. In a pan on medium heat, I'm adding in some good extra virgin olive oil, diced onions, celery, and carrots, giving that a stir and cooking for three to four minutes. This is optional, but I'm adding in a finely diced seeded jalapeno pepper for some heat, adding salt and black pepper, and cooking for another couple minutes. Now for some spices. I'm adding in some minced garlic, oregano, basil, and thyme, stirring and cooking for one minute. I'm adding in a good handful of fresh chopped parsley. You can use chopped fresh tomatoes, diced or coarse crushed tomatoes, but I have a can of whole tomatoes that I'm just giving a rough chop, giving everything a good mix. I'm turning my heat up to medium high and I'm adding in some chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth or some seafood stock. I'm also throwing in a couple of bay leaves. Bringing this up to a boil, turning down my heat to a simmer, covering, and cooking for 15 to 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. I'm adding in a little pop of flavor with some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Next is the fish, and I'm using some nice cubed pieces of cod. You want to buy a meaty fish that will hold up in the soup like cod, halibut, or haddock. You could also add in some seafood like some shrimp or any shellfish that you like. Giving that a gentle stir, and it's not going to take long for the fish to cook. I'm bringing this back up to a boil, covering, turning off my heat, and letting it rest for five minutes. The residual heat will cook the fish through. And the fish stew is done. As you can see, this is more of a soup, but it is called fish stew. It is quick and easy. Tonight, I'm serving with a side of steamed rice and a slice of lemon for another pop of flavor. I hope you give this fish stew a try and enjoy. If you like this fish stew recipe, please hit the like and subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe to make sure that you get my future video recipes. You can also find me on Steam It, Facebook, and on my website. Feel free to share this recipe and my channel with your friends and family. And until next time, much love!